The ELT will allow a much deeper and sharper look into the universe than ever before. It's a massive structure that is constructed all around Europe and is shipped and installed in the desert where there's nothing else. ELT stands for Extremely Large Telescope. It is ESO's most ambitious project so far. This is the largest project ESO has ever built. Everything we do with the ELT is about 10 times bigger than anything in astronomy before. My name is Ronald Guzman. I'm a mechanical engineer. I got involved in the ELT project when I became the head of the Telescopes and Large Structure Group. My name is Gerd Jakob. I am the head of mechanical engineering at ESO. ESO is the European Organization for Astronomical Research in the Southern Hemisphere. Building such an amazingly big project requires people to work together of all disciplines. So there are the astronomers who have the wish to get the biggest telescope in the world, and then there are the engineers who have to build it. There are several thousand people working on the project, if you consider all the organization, company, institutes. So at ESO we are using Autodesk products since many years, but in the last years we're constructing this ELT, we saw also that we have to combine other products from Autodesk, like the Construction Cloud and Fusion Manage, to have global data communication between all our different stakeholders. So the ELT has millions of parts. Of course, it has an outer building, which is a, a large dome of 80 meter height. It has the inner part, which consists of the main mirrors. In astronomical instrumentation, everything is cooled to very low temperatures. And this is done to enhance the sensitivity of your system. In the ELT, everything is 10 times bigger than anything before. So this is, brings a lot of challenges with it. We are using currently Inventor for our own internal developments and for our own designs. Afterwards, we are transferring the data from Inventor to Revit, and this is helping us also to have a complete model of the telescope. By having a virtual model, we can understand and feel the size of this telescope. We can also check collisions, and we can also see how the telescope will look like in the future. We are using 3D Max for some animations and sometimes for improving surfaces for using our models in virtual reality. I'm very happy with all the achievements so far. There is still a long way to go. And I'm really, really proud to work in such an environment like ESO. All the fields that are in this telescope are really fascinating. And we do it in an international environment with colleagues from all around Europe, all around the world. I think I'm going to be extremely proud when we see this telescope in operation and the lasers that are going to be installed on it shooting to the atmosphere. I think this is going to be one of the greatest moments that we will live. It will hopefully answer some of the most exciting questions. How did the universe form in the early days? What are black holes? And finally, are we alone in this universe?